Today we're playing the Open Your Eyes, suggested by Julius again. He always know all the scary games, bro. He tried getting me to play like, I forgot what it's called, like Watson's something test. He said it's too scary and I checked it out, but it's, all I see is like text. Alright, let's start. <laughs> is this our first? Okay, good, good. <laughs> a little creepy. Uh, it's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Dude, who sleeps with their door open? <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> who leaves their door no. open and sleeps like that? <laughs> You're a menace to society if you keep your door open and you sleep. What the heck? I leave aside the book that that I've been reading and look at my window. Where? Can we look at that window? The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise, barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. What is those intrusive thoughts? Miyagi? What? What are your intrusive thoughts? Just leave me alone. I don't want to watch this. You force me to watch something. I don't want to. You gotta be here with me, okay? Last time I played a scary game by myself, I screamed pretty loud, okay? <laughs> But sadly, the facecam file was corrupted, so I don't think we're gonna be releasing that video. <laughs> but not even the turning gears of my brain are proceed at producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Ooh, quiet. Ooh. What's happening? Too quiet. <clears throat> that scared me a bit, bro. <laughs> I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. That's why you closed the dang door! The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. That's a lot of steps though. Depends on your shoe size. You're, dude, you're so lazy. <laughs> you can't even take a step. Right? Right? I know since I've made a... I've made an habit. A habit? I've made an habit. I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. That's pretty weird of a that's a weird habit, bro. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three. How do you read this? Absent I swear, I live in Canada. I'm gonna get Google to pronounce this. Give me a sec. Oh! It's absent mindly. Yo, this is gonna freaking <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be embarrassed for this one. <laughs> Just ask him to edit it out. Nope. Absent mindly. I tried reading it, like my head was just floating for a sec, so I don't know. It's absent mindly. Yeah, absent mindedly. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it it stretches into nothingness. Like like the throat of a gargantuan beast. The heck? <laughs> okay. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. That's where it all starts, bro. <laughs> That's where it all starts. It's just a hallway. He just jinxed it me. But. Uh oh. I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Do it. Yeah, uh... and, and then something touches your foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you always put your foot like in the blanket. But it gets really hot, so you put your foot out. Five minute craft where they like <laughs> put a hole in the blanket. <laughs> <It's> so useless. <laughs> right? Like, like it, it gets too hot under the blanket, so you put your feet out. But, <laughs> but, but whenever you put your feet out, you know, it feels like something's gonna grab your feet, so you put your blanket. <laughs> Might as well just roast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the heck? 
What's that? There's a bed. Yeah? In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room. <laughs> There's picture framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. Okay. What is that? I don't know if you can see it. Maybe it's just... Is it just my monitor? Something's over there. <clears throat> it's a world I know. Like the back of my hand, okay? Where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around. Yikes. I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Ooh. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to go try to sleep. Yeah, you should sleep. You're letting the intrusive thoughts win. Oh! What is that sound? What the heck? Bro! What is that? What's that sound? Exactly, that's what I've been asking. Are those footsteps? Bro, you gotta shut the neighbors up, bro. Ew, what are they doing? The heck? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. Probably. But it's getting closer. What? It's getting closer. And closer. <clears throat> and closer. What the heck? And closer. They're gone. Right. There's no way someone could be there. <gasps> <laughs> Yo, what is that? Inyaki, is that you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at that. What? Look at that. Hey. Whoa! It's just the hay. It whispered, bro. Hi. Open your eyes. I don't want to. Your breath smells like McDonald's. <laughs> I don't open my eyes. Uh oh, what the heck is that sound? Why is this guy so skinny, bro? What the heck? Open your eyes. Okay. No! Look at me. No, you're probably ugly. No. <laughs> I do my best to ignore no. the voice. Why won't you look at me? Because you're ugly. You look like Julius. Where are your manners? It's out the window. <laughs> Well, it really depends, right? Yeah, it's right to ignore them. I should call the police, right? <laughs> like this guy. Is that how it is? Is that how it is? Yes. I can oh. feel someone breathing over my ear. Whoa! It's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> it's cold. I will share a secret with you. that happens to you at, like, at night? Stop, Miyagi! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> 1 a.m. and I have my lights on. I'm trying to sleep because I can't sleep with the lights off anymore. Because of what Inyaki told me in that game. I have never seen myself before. I have never. Yeah, I've never seen you too. I don't know why you're in my house. One thing I can tell you, probably are. <laughs> I don't know the color of my skin. Well... I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. I don't want to. So you can tell me how I look. Probably ugly. But I'm also shy. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> You know what's, what's missing here? Like, but I'm also shy. That ooh voice. But I'm also shy. <laughs> so I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere. And soon, you will forget. Then what's the point of looking at you then? Like a faded dream. 
Okay. I know you're not asleep. Yes, I am. How can you tell? Listen, with those tiny ears of yours, they look so fragile. Okay, now stay away from the ears. Anything but the ears. Look, I could almost grab them. Don't do it. I feel something caress my ear. Oh, that's creepy, bruh. Is that your fetish or something, bruh? <laughs> Put my fingers around them. Put my fingers around them. No. And tear them off. Oh. No, please don't. If I do, will you scream? I'll call the police. Will I hear your voice? Maybe. I hear your voice. It was a joke. It was a joke. Okay, good. good, good. We're good. We're good. I'm joking. Oh, this ghost knows how to joke, bruh. <laughs> this ghost's funny. <laughs> Don't be scared. I am, though. Hey. What? How do you think my eyes look? They look like an eye? How else? When our cases finally meet, what will you find? I'll find Ligma. What's Ligma? <laughs> No, I am gonna answer. They look broken. They look empty. They look lost. I don't see your eyes, so I think they look lost, bro. They look lost. Yeah, I think your eyes are lost, man. Oh, what the heck? Guy has an eye now. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. Bro, is that why you're at my house? You probably got the wrong house, man. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for. Something. What are you searching for? I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. What are you searching for? The thought terrifies me. This became from like a horror game to like a therapist session, you know what I mean? <laughs> it terrifies me so much. Yes, he needs psychiatric help, my friend. So I always keep my eyes peeled, even if there's nothing to see that way. Nothing will slip away. Oh, where is No matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides. Bro. This guy is just venting out to me right now. Like venting out to someone sleeping. <laughs> Yucky so <laughs> Yeah. No matter how terrifying the world might be. No matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. What does that mean? No matter what. I will never blink. This guy's eye must be really red from not blinking. It must be really dry. I will forever be confused by the world around me. I will forever be... lost. Just stop being lost. What is that something that I'm searching for? Why are you asking me? How would I know? It's been so long since my wandering began. Dude, this no is like ASMR. Feelings are you a horror game? I know, right? It's like an ASMR and like psychiatric help or something like that. Yeah, like, it's closer to being an ASMR than. I know, right? Like, I thought it was a horror game. Uh, I don't want to start speaking now and jinx it, you know? <laughs> what is it? What is what? Is it something I can hold? What do you want to hold? <laughs> is it a being of flesh and bones? How would I know? Is it nearby? I got you. It's Joe! Hey. What? Have you ever looked so fervently for something? What does that mean? That you end up losing yourself in the process. No. Have you? No. I remain silent. These eyes. These nuts. <laughs> these eyes. Are these my eyes? Probably not. I'm not very sure myself. No. Is that so? Then... How do you think my eyes look? How would I know I have my eyes closed? When our cases finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. Oh, I'm picking the eyes. So, Inyaki, what does his eyes look? I don't know. It kind of looks broke. They look broken. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! What is that? <laughs> that may be so. I'm always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me, searching for that one fresh 
suspicious thing. What are you searching for? Oh, it's what drives me to look inside places. Such as this. But sometimes I strain so hard. Mm -hmm. Little pieces seem to fall off my face. One after another. Making a cracking sound as they go. Bruh, you, you kind of need to go to the doctor if that happens. A sound like ASMR. Yeah, that's ASMR right there, bro. This, in my desperation, I always attempt to piece them back together. I kneel and search for the missing fragments of myself. Okay. But they are never there. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach. And that makes me sad. Oh, this guy's sad, bro. This actually turned into like a therapy session, bro. Seriously. <laughs> it's really weird. So sad, I put okay. my hands where my eyes should be. Okay. And I borrow my fingers. And I take it out. What the heck? I take everything out. Did you just grab your eye, just like, take it out? What is this? Every eight? little piece that remains harder, furiously, and wallowing in sorrow. Wallowing in sorrow. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine. What are you searching for? Like, how would I know, dude? I'm just expecting him to say, It's for your estate. <laughs> Do not make me lose more than I've already lost. I don't want to waste my time and search for more than I care for. Dude, what are you searching for, really? <laughs> Yet no one delivers. It's probably like 1 a.m. in the morning. Probably Uber Eats is, you know, like most of the restaurants are all. Probably already closed. Yeah, no one will deliver at that time, bro. No one is listening. I'm listening right now. What are you talking about? And so I weep invisible tears. What does invisible tears look like? Aww. Until I can feel the sorrow no more. Okay. Hey. Hi. Have you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see? No. That you end up blinding yourself to all? No. Have you? No. These eyes. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Probably not then. I don't like seeing that eye. Is that so? They look empty. They look. So that we don't have empty. to see anything. Oh, bruh. <laughs> Dude, his eyes look like a citrus. I don't know why. <laughs> Like when you cut out a lemon in half. <laughs> the eyes are the window to the soul. The window to the soul. That's what someone told me long ago. Who told you that? They're lying. They said that the soul was holy. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh huh. Beautiful. Uh huh. Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. Okay. If that person said I was the exception. Exception for what? That something like me. Couldn't possibly own something so holy. So you don't have a soul? So bright. So beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Like what you're doing right now? Like taking a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> their eyes. Eyes that could see it all. Couldn't find anything in there. Okay. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. What would flow out? Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins. So you do have blood then? Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Okay. Because I'm empty. But isn't that something to be grateful for? What's to be grateful for being empty? Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. Everyone will. <laughs> By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. Probably. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Recite what words? Nor the second. Oh yeah, yeah the, nor the third. Said. Nor the several others who came after. The only thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. Someone like you told you that? Hey. What? Have you ever felt so empty, so devoid of what makes everyone special, that you've embraced the void as your own? Embrace the void. Have you? I don't know. 
Probably. <laughs> these eyes. He's nuts. Are these my eyes? You know what? Let's say yes this time. A good answer. A good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Should I open my eyes, Yangi? No. No? Okay. So you won't look at me. Yes. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Ew. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. For real. So, so pretty. Can you see? My precious. <sighs> Ew, bro. Dude. That's tech. What did you eat for dinner? I thought you went to McDonald's or something. It's fine. We still have time. Okay. The night is still and silent. Dude, I have work tomorrow. I need to sleep early, bro. Yikes. That's, a, Dude, that's the worst reason you could ever give. What the heck? Can you hear that? That's disgusting. Stop breathing into my nose. Or People are good at closing their toes. Yeah, that's why you close your doors, bro. What the heck? Do you know what a door is? Yeah, it's the one behind right there. Of course you know. Uh huh. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. Ooh. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Yeah, that's why you keep your door closed when you sleep, bro. Crazy. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. Bad smell like your breath? <laughs> yeah, it's time. Me. Yeah, see? This is why I close the door. Keep him out. <laughs> I can't open doors. Exactly. You're a psychopath for leaving your door open when you sleep, bro. I find them tricky. Just open like that. Should I push or pull? It really depends on the door. I sometimes pull on a push door. That's so embarrassing, right? But like, especially if there's like other people You're not you. like weed? <laughs> <laughs> Still though, it's so embarrassing. Like there's like people behind me, and there's like a lot of people, and it says push right there. I pull it. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Should I turn the knob left or right? Try both ways. Should I try to take it off its hinges? Why would you? Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? No, that's breaking the door, bro. And what happens when it opens? It opens. Do I close it behind me? Well, for me, it really depends on the person. I usually close the door right behind me. How about you, Nyaki? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. <laughs> Do I, I don't keep close it doors. Open? You don't close doors? Are you serious? I leave them alone. No, don't keep them open. Just close it. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Exactly. That's why I keep it closed. But then. You open the door again! Obviously. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? Okay. I'll just leave it be, I guess. <laughs> uh, why are you asking so many questions, bro? What the heck? It's just a door. So many options. Dude, you're overthinking it, bro. So many things that could go wrong. What could go wrong? It's just opening and closing a door. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. Wait. I stare at it for a long time. Okay. And think of my excuses. Okay. Because that's all they are. I don't know why you're talking to me. You should really talk to like, like a therapist or something, bro. Because I don't really know how to answer these questions. What really. bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. <laughs> what? <laughs> it bothers him that doors exist. <laughs> <laughs> to keep me out. Just open the door. It's not gonna keep you out if you open it. It fills me with the need to go in. Yeah, then open the door. Unless it's locked though. So I search for a crevice or a window. Through the window. Through the door. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. Why? I'm not good with doors. It's just a door, bro. But as long as there's a place where I can fit. And I can't go in anywhere. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. Oh. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. So like you're like a shadow monster or something. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. 
Why'd you go to my place? I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. My place is not comfortable so you can get out please. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Then why are you here? There's no freaking dust or dirt here. I keep my place clean, okay? I feel at home there. Then go there! <laughs> but sometimes, what? just sometimes, what is it? An urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. Should we look at it? In so I search hard. No. For a door that's open. A door that's open, okay. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. I'm not awake, I swear. I'm asleep. As if okay, uh... Expecting me. <laughs> we should look at it, Inyaki. But you won't look at me. You know what? I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay, dude, don't leave me yet! Don't leave me yet! Uh, alright. Uh, I'll be back. No, Inyaki! We need to look I'll at it! Inyaki! Hi! <laughs> How dare you! Okay, I'm by myself now. Oh, okay. Even though you had your door open for visitors. Well... This guy's just too lazy to close it, I don't know why. Why is that? I don't know. Are you... afraid? Yes. Do I... scare you? Yep, you did barge into my room. No. That can't be it. It is. We have been chatting for so long. No, it's just you talking. You haven't chased me out. That's true. That means... you welcome me. Nope. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Oh, bro. You would reciprocate and grasp it. No. I'm sure your hands are warm. Don't touch me, please. So very warm. Please don't touch me. Because people are always warm. Hey. What? How do my hands look? I don't know. I have my eyes closed, bro. My warmth finally meets yours. How will it feel? How would I know? Answer me. Incomplete. They look incomplete. Okay. Oh, bro, what the heck is that? That may be so. Amidst my travels, I have lost more than I can imagine. I have left people behind. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. We're not companions, you know that. You're like an invader in my house. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, Leave parts of me as well. Things such as skin. Ew, bruh. Or flesh. Don't leave anything behind here. Or bones. Or anything that makes me. me. As okay. Farewell gifts, you could say. It sounds like an excuse. I don't need your farewell gifts, bruh. And that's because it is. Because I am careless. And overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. No, please. Like the crust of a tree. Or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes, I find something else. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. And wonder, how does that feel? I don't know. Go ahead and find out. So I put my hands to the fire. Why would you do that, bro? It hurts, but I tolerate it and keep them there. Hey, yo, are you a masochist or something? For long enough that the uncomfortable feeling dissipates and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. Oh, bro, this is disgusting. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible but intoxicating feeling. Yeah. I seek such extreme sensations. That's kinda sus, man. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Like I said, kinda sus. Other times, the fangs of like a something beast. just moved right next to me. It's kinda I scared me for a bit, sorry. Most <laughs> times, however, it's by mere accident. Okay. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. You're kinda stupid for not using your eyes, huh? And I will leave my hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. Like I said, I don't need any of your farewell gifts. Keep your hands to yourself, please. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. 
Okay. The fire and the blades are friends. No, they're not. They have granted me times of great fun. How's that fun? Like burning and cutting yourself. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. It doesn't have to be a part of your body, bro. What the heck? They're always painful. Obviously, it's freaking knife and fire. I'd rather they weren't. Hey. What? Have you ever placed yourself in arm's way? Only to feel a satisfaction you've realized is not yours. Have you? No. These hands. Are these. My hands. Let's just say no so we can give you better hands. L they look tired. They must look be. Tired. Must, be, must look. Better, I guess. Let's see. Okay, okay, that looks. Way worse. Way worse. That may be so. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. But your fingers looks like twigs, bro. What the heck? They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for something. What are you reaching out for? The tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel. Uh? Their sensations reach the core of my brain. What the heck? Be it the softness of the first spring flowers or the roughness of a wall. Made out of rubbish. Like, is the point of the game like detailed image of what you actually look? Caressing, grabbing, clawing. No matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep. Yeah. As if they had a mind of their own. What oh, really do they? Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Please don't do that. I don't want any of your disgusting hands in my bed sheets. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin is irresistible. Please resist. They want more. I should really call the police and say like this man's touching me or something. <laughs> please don't want to feel closer. Nope, please. Don't touch to me. Have it between them and around them. More and more and more. No, please. Sometimes. However, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I... That's when I... <laughs> 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 Nestle Crunch. Then to hand. And hand. I okay. take over and... Stretch. 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 Okay. I'll stretch. <clears throat> okay. And they crow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. So, that's your finger fingernails? <laughs> that's your fingernails? That's disgusting, man. But they grow. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside. And don't throw it aside. Discarded. And forgot. That's why they are tired. Okay. Because they never stop seeking. Okay. And most likely... Never will. will. Hey. What's up? Have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Dude. You're good, man. You keep asking these like, weird questions. Have you? No. I remain silent. These hands. Maybe. <laughs> Are these my hands? Let's just say yes. How could keep the hand? Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Okay. Open your eyes. You know what? I'm gonna open the eyes. Yaka's not here. So might, might as well. What do I see? Nothing's there. Okay, nothing's there. There's nothing there. Are we good? Oh! <gasps> Oh, is that it? That was pretty weird. And is Inyagi still out here? That guy was scared, so he ran off to the washroom. So that was open your don't open your eyes. Oh, is this like it's like a thing right here? Don't and then open your eyes. So we're were we supposed to open our eyes? Probably. Anyways, we'll probably be in the description. Will I play it again? No. I just gave Julius a chance. He said this is not that scary. So I'm like, sure, why not? 
instead of like a horror game, let's just say it kind of became like a freaking therapy session, honestly. That's it, I guess. Goodbye.